guys, back again with another quick video to help you out. This time we're taking the stereo radio unit out of this 2008 BMW 328 and this is the XI model. Uh, I'm sure it's similar for the other levels, but it's really easy and the only tools I used was a flat tip screwdriver and I'm in the boneyard so it's not as bad. But if you're doing this at home, you might want to wrap this with some electrical tape on the tip just to keep your dash from getting marred up. Or you can use a panel removal tool that works too. It's made out of nylon and won't damage your dash. And then a Phillips head screw driver. And the only thing you need to do to remove this is you have to remove your heater control unit. You have to get in on an edge here and it simply just pops out. It's not held in with any kind of clips or it's just held in with clips it's not held in with any kind of screws or fasteners or anything it's just held in with clips and you don't even have to unplug this you can just sit it down here to the side and then you'll have a phillips head screw right here and another one right here i'd be very careful removing those as you don't want to drop them down in here and then you've got more problems but when you've got those two screws removed and safely put somewhere you can find them then you can come in here on the edge or even from the bottom I would use the edge and again this is the importance of not marring up your dash and get in behind it and pry on it just a little from both sides and your whole radio unit will slide right out and it should be noted here that you do not have very much slack behind to pull the plug off. But in order to remove the plug, you have to get underneath here and turn that just a little to pop this loose and then you just push it away and the plug will come out. And then with your radio antenna, you've got just the slightest little, that little mark right there. Just press on that. And it's really hard to do with one hand. There. That being said, that's all there is to removing your BMW radio. And you can replace it with a new unit or you can put in an aftermarket unit and it'll come with your plugs and everything and you can just put it right back in the way this one came out. So if this helped you out, drop a like down below and be sure to subscribe. I put these videos out to help normal people save money and we can all use that right now. Thanks for watching. See you next time.